Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Blue Exorcist Kyoto Saga. Previously I watched the first season of Blue Exorcist, and was not impressed. It had way too many filler episodes, and it felt like much didn't happen throughout the season. Kyoto Saga was made many years after the first season, so I was expecting something great from the same series. I heard so many people talk about the season, after watching it though, I still don't understand the hype it got. It just felt like a decent show in anime series. I've seen all the battle shown anime series out there, like Demon Slayer, Black Clover, My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen. I can understand the appeal of all those shows, but I can't understand why Blue Exorcist got so much praise and popularity. So in this season you pretty much disregard the final arc of the first season and start from there. Rin's friends are shocked to find out that Rin is the son of Satan, and they're staying away from him now. Right now they have a more important matter to deal with though. The left eye of the Imperial King has been stolen. The Impure King was a powerful demon that people feared. Now, there has been an attempt to steal the right eye as well. Rin and his classmates are off to investigate the mystery behind the Impure King and find out what the Mastermind has planned. The plot of this season is essentially learning about the history of the Impure King and the Mastermind behind his revival. What is the Mastermind truly planning? There is also a traitor among the people at the temple that they're staying at. We also see Rin and his classmates trying to reconnect as friends as they try to get over the fact that Rin is the son of Satan. If there was a cool villain for this season, of course I would be excited, but the mastermind seemed like a generic villain that was obsessed with power. I was also not really excited to learn about the Impure King as well. It's just a mindless demon that kills everything in its path. How boring. It's not really that creepy or intelligent as a demon. I don't care about the traitor mystery because we barely know anything about the characters at the temple, and they feel like side characters made for this one arc. It would have been more impactful if it turned out the traitor was one of Rin's classmates that it was close to, but the anime made it obvious that it wasn't. So essentially in this season, we're seeing Rin and his friends try and stop this generic villain and the impure king that he's unleashed. The fight scene was okay, we see everyone working together to take down these two powerful opponents, but I'm not hyped up for the fights. I remember in Black Clover, how the villains were so terrifying and showed so much charisma. I was so excited to see Asa and his friends defeat the villains. In Blue Exorcist Kyoto Saga though, it was like, oh, Ren and his friends just defeat a demon that doesn't talk, and they defeated the boring mastermind as well. The fight scene was decent, it wasn't too boring, but it's not one of those fight scenes you want to watch over and over. In terms of the emotional factor of the season, I didn't really care about Ren becoming friends with his classmates again. It just went as expected. As they talked more, they got closer and closer, and faced with a deadly situation, they reconnected as friends again. I just didn't feel emotional about it. The opening and ending song for a season were average. The music throughout the anime didn't really get me hyped up for the fights. The new animation style didn't look that good. And the animation was alright. I've seen all the Battle Shonen anime series out there. And I will never understand the hype for Blue Exorcist. The fights aren't anything special. And the plot feels boring to watch. It's no wonder you barely hear anyone talk about the series anymore. I give this season a 5 out of 10. So that's all I wanted to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.